campground for any of those people out there who did not watch the video before this. And so we're in Tahoe. Ron has left this campground wrong every single time we've left this campground. We're at like 10 times now. And well, no, it just says keep right one way, so you figure <laughs> I'd learn that. Yeah, how hard is it? You know? So um, we are heading to a place called Sugar Pine. So when we were at Vikings Home, so go watch the last episode and watch us at Vikings Home in Tahoe down by Emerald Bay. That was a great little hike. The woman there who works there told Ron about um, Sugar Pine and said it was an even larger mansion and just a really neat place and said you really should go do a tour of that. So we're gonna go there. He really wanted to do that because it's somebody's birthday today. That's Happy why I'm wearing all black. Happy birthday. We are heading to Sugar Pine and then we're gonna go do some bike riding. Anybody who loves either casual bike ride or really seriously bike ride, Lake Tahoe is the place to be. Um, so it looks like another beautiful day here in Lake Tahoe. We're gonna head on out and go do some more exploring. <laughs> Biking in Lake Tahoe is one of the must-dos from spring to fall. You can discover miles of scenic Lake Tahoe bike trails from epic mountain descents to leisurely lakeside paths. Lake Tahoe has been designated as a bike-friendly community, so safe and family-friendly bike paths are plentiful for outdoor enthusiasts of all ages. From easy scenic routes through pine forests to gentle downhill rides with stunning lake views, there's something for everybody. So we just rode our bikes a little bit here from um, Sugar Pine and it was $10 to park at Sugar Pine. The great thing is, is you can get on your bikes and ride for miles from there. And also there's trails to walk. And then of course, we're gonna be showing you soon uh, the mansion that we're gonna visit. But we rode our bikes to Meeks Bay. And so here we are parked on the side. This Meeks Bay is absolutely gorgeous. And I know there's something about a day pass and day parking. Don't know if there's a charge, I couldn't see. You can rent kayaks, paddle boards. The water is gorgeous. And they have a little food area, a grill to order food. But this is more quiet and secluded compared to some of the other places. Um, but here I'm gonna show it to you again. It This water is like clear. It's so gorgeous. Let me get closer. You can see it. I don't even know if we've mentioned yet, but it's uh, Lake Tahoe is like 72 miles, I believe, um, all around. Big, beautiful lake. So many different areas to find a spot. So far, it's been a really great trip.
Our next lake house property. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna put in a bid? I am. Yeah. Uh, I don't even think I can afford the property tax. <laughs> I, I know I can't afford the property tax. <laughs> Let's put it that way. That's okay. I'm all right with that. We Maybe just... there's. I might be able to afford the property tax on that little that little that squatter's little, hut little right star. there. But I did say, like, oh man, should we get a lake house? Should we get an ocean place? We've always talked about Hawaii, whatever. Should we get a condo? Should we do this and that? But I also love the RV life well, because see, we we're not do. stuck you just, anywhere. Well, you just answered your question because we do we do have a lake house. We we pull up by the lake. We do have a beach <laughs> house. We pull up by the beach, and that's the thing about the RV life is you able to you're mobile. You can go all to every these all these places. You know, if you want the city life, you can go into one of these. You know, like we're going to Bend, we're going right into the you know little city. Take our little uh, motorhome and uh, go around to all these places. Swear, yeah, we do have a lake house, beach house, you know, condo house out in, in the, the mountains. woods. In the yeah. forest we've been in the forest yeah. yeah and um like okay we just went to a vineyard we stayed in a vineyard we stayed in a brewery now on this next trip yeah we're i had actually... a vineyard home i just had a vineyard home <laughs> yeah. and a brewery home too yep and after yeah. this trip make sure you are hitting like subscribe and please hit notifications because after this video um, of our time in Lake Tahoe. And don't forget, if you didn't watch Lake Tahoe 1, go back and watch Lake Tahoe 1. This is Lake Tahoe 2. But go hit notifications and watch because after this, we're gonna go hit some more harvest hosts. We are gonna stay in California the night at a ranch or a homestead farm or ranch kind of place with animals and fresh vegetables. And so we're gonna go stay there next. And then after that, we're gonna go stay in Oregon on a potato farm. And then we're heading to Bend, Oregon, and we love Bend. We go every year. We, we're gonna hit a bunch of breweries like we always do. Bend is known, it's number three. What is it, number three in the whole United States for most breweries? Per 50,000 people. Per 50,000 so people. like uh, 15, 16 breweries per every 50,000 people in uh, Bend, Oregon. I think number one is actually Portland, Maine. Number two is... Uh, oh, Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina, yeah. Hit notifications so you can go watch us in Bend, Oregon. And back to our favorite place, Crooked River Ranch. Welcome and come on in. My goodness, it makes the other one look like nothing. <laughs> wow. We are walking on the original oak floors, and this oak came from Sacramento. But the family used as much of the natural supplies and resources here, like pine and fir for floors. This pine and fir has been stained to look like mahogany. The lamps or the uh, chandeliers here with lighting is how it looked, are from Spain. The thing I don't want any of you to miss is the wall coverings and ceilings. These have never been redone. We have not met anyone who's seen this anywhere else. And craftsmen coming in today say, can't do it. You're looking at clear heartwood redwood in one eighth of an inch strips wow. um, and woven together. And here's the elevator. Well, that elevator's neat. Construction of the Hellman Airman Mansion was completed in 1903 by San Francisco businessman I.W. Hellman. At that time, it was considered to be the finest in the High Sierra. His daughter, Florence Hellman Airman, inherited the estate, and she and her husband, Sidney, spent many summers here entertaining family and friends. The house, designed by Walter Danforth Bliss, was equipped with the best and most modern utility systems to include electric lights and indoor plumbing. Steam generators produced electricity until commercial power was available in 1927. During the summer visits, guests of the Airmans participated in outdoor activities scheduled by Mrs. Airman, such as hikes, swimming, riding, fishing, boating, tennis, and picnics. 
In 1965, the house was acquired by California and maintained as a museum and a fine example of the opulent tradition in Lake Tahoe summer homes. Your tour. Did you tour like was good. Tour? Look at this. And we got, I know, we're, we're twinsies. We got twinsie shirts. I so had to do So for lost, they know who I belong to. <laughs> Vice versa. Love it. I love the back. It's the whole entire emblem. Yeah. So beautiful. So it just has all of our lake. Oh, shows the size. Better take that off. Extra no. husky. Anyway. Not bad. I'm big boned. <laughs> anyway, I love these shirts. I fell in love with them right away. I don't know. They're just really nice and we didn't get anything yet for besides our magnet and our stickers from the yeah. breweries. But this tour was good. Um, that was a really neat home. Huge. Oh my goodness. Um, and so you need, I think I like Vikings home more though. Yeah. I really well, they're, think. They're two different areas. Yeah. But There's the water tower. Yeah, water Talk tower from, uh, you know, they're ahead of their time when it came with the uh, modern indoor plumbing and the electricity being piped into the room and the house and everything. Yeah, that was neat. So. And listen to the thunder and lightning. So every day we've been warned we're going to have it and we had it and there was hail right at the beginning well, of our Well, it, it was perfect because, Huge yeah, the, the tour, while we're taking the tour, it rained and then got it over with. <laughs> and so by the time the tour was over with, we just got this. Now listen we're going to... Listen to that thunder. <laughs> yeah. So, so I guess this means south. it's time for barbecue and um, I think it's and uh, beers. Well, yeah, we had to have to do a brewery. We have to do a little bit of work. So we have to do yeah. some upload and then a little Not bit. Not on editing. your birthday. Oh, yeah. Well, fun for later. Well, fun and work at the same time. Hi, this looks like it's gonna be delicious. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there are a lot of great restaurants in Tahoe. Tons of great restaurants, and um, I have several saved. Sushi, I had a sushi place saved. I had a German place saved. It was really big here. But Ron wants barbecue for his birthday. So I did some more research and we think this is a good barbecue place for us to go to. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. Here we go. As we're just walking, it's like, holy cow. <laughs> beers that we we like uh the watermelon wheat was good yeah watermelon wheat was good the stout was good that was a good stout um, yeah brewery is a little on the hoppy side but a lot of people like that though if you like your ipas definitely go there it was a very busy place it smelled really good like the food smelled good people were happy yeah. they're having a good time if we didn't have so, barbecue earlier probably had a burger there because well we still might have something later on tonight but yeah. this was a great place good beers brewery um, nice atmosphere smelled really good in there so this is a cute little center here too it's a little shopping center but it just has like a Bavarian Swiss look to it Pretty, yeah. Back to work. Get back to work. What are you doing? Quit messing around. It's back to work. So we got the uh, we got a sour here, a berry tickler right there. Then you got the how's it punch. We got a Mexican lager. Then we have coffee and cigarettes. That's a, a porter. And then we got a seltzer here. That's a blackberry lemonade. This is the big berry tickler. That's a good name. Big berry tickler. And this is from Alibi, who we visited yeah, yesterday. So you got a berry tickler. Oh. 
I figured. I kind of knew when I saw it on the menu. How is it? How is it punch? Is that what it's called? How's it punch? That's the worst handwriting I've ever seen you have. <laughs> so how's it punch? That was good. It punches real well. Right there is our campground, and every day we passed by this pizza place, and then I read about it. it's been here since 1973 and it has a lot of background to it. 50 year celebration in 2023 right here. All fresh ingredients, dough made daily. Well, so I want canned, I want canned everything. <laughs> and I, I want frozen crust and And canned. they have some of our favorite beers here. So I'm like, we're coming in, let's just do it. Okay, let's, well, let's see how this goes. Thank you. Yeah, they can call pesto chips, but it's just a little pizza with uh, cheese and pesto sauce, real good. Oh yeah, major editing, right? <laughs> editing fluid. I'm like five quarts low of editing fluid. And look, we got a picture now, and then you're looking. See, that's the way it ought to be. <laughs> picture. I know we met. Wow. Oh my. Oh, there you go. Some fromage. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell me how it is. Here we go. That was awesome. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. I've never had avocado on a pizza. Oh, Even yeah. the taco pizzas, yeah. It was a good one. Tell me, how was that? That was good. That was good pizza. Yeah. Yeah, it was good pizza, good service, and good beer. Good all around. And this was great, was it not? Pizza was good. They had the right kind of beers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was, yeah, it was good all walking? around. Yeah, yeah it was good all around and, and fun. And the service, like, I can't service say the service was awesome. exceptional. Exceptional. Service was great. All right, well, we are wrapping up Tahoe and it was a great visit. And unfortunately, we didn't have enough time. We There's needed more days. Never, ever, ever enough time. Tahoe was so beautiful. Tahoe Valley Campground was a great campground. It is a um, it's a thousand way. trails. It's a it's a thousand trails. Same thing. Um, so <laughs> you have to uh, be a member. And if you're not a member, though, it's just a little bit. I think maybe a hundred a night. You know, it's a little bit more than most campgrounds. Um, but it was convenient for us, and then also it was just nice. It was quiet and calm. We went early June when kids weren't out of school yet. So we had like the whole area to ourselves. We had a good time. We played some horseshoes um, and there's a lot to do. So go look up Thousand Trails. Uh, we'll have it linked below, uh, especially for family. I could see where families would love that place. Yeah, it's it's a family friendly thing oh, yeah. because they had the playgrounds and movie night and horseshoes. Activities, and, fire yeah. pits. Yeah, they had a kids a playground, a kids area. The Biking pool. trails, the oh, kids were coming yeah. down these bike hills. I mean, yeah. they were loving it. Yeah. Volleyball court, mm -hmm. I mean, they had everything. So, yeah. so that's a great campground, it's a great option. Um, and it was centrally located for South Tahoe. So we had all these restaurants and breweries and all kinds of places there. I felt like I do when I go to Hawaii, just the whole atmosphere, the way everything looked, the lake was well, gorgeous. The, yeah, the water of the lake was crystal clear and you'll, you know, you'll see that. And it was, you could see right down the bottom. I guess we didn't go out that far, but they said even 20, 30 feet out there, you could see all the way down to the bottom. Uh, the beaches around the lake were, uh, clear. were pristine. I went for a little swim. It was brisk. It was brisk, I'll have to say that. Now, there's a lot to do. You can rent kayaks, you can rent paddle boards. Um, so we went to Vikings Home. It was amazing. I loved it. I liked doing that little hike. Eagle Falls was great. Um, if we had more time, we I would have loved to have gotten a kayak and went across to the little island across from Vikings mm -hmm. Home. There's an island where you can go up to this place called the Tea House. The mountains, you see, and we still saw so much snow on the mountains, so that was neat Yeah, that was at. that was an interesting thing because here you're on the beach, it's sunny, it's hot. And then you're looking at these snow-covered mountains right there in the distance above the lake. And some of the drives. So we ended up luckily going all around the island. It's a 70-mile lake. So island. It's a 70-mile lake. And so, you know, we went to the top. It took us an hour to get to the north side. And then we came back later that day. Um, so you can do the whole 
entire lake and enjoy it throughout a day or two but um, luckily we had more time than that some of it we have i hope the video shows where you feel like you're gonna go off the mountain or you know it was yeah there was there was one drive where it looked like it was on the very peak on the ridge and then you could look down over the treetops. The treetops were to the left and right of you. We took different routes for the RV. So I definitely recommend looking at that because if we would have taken the routes that were first suggested on Google Maps, that would have been a rough ride. Yeah, there was a lot of twists and turns. The west side to be on the southwest side of the lake, I would not recommend taking a large rig. You got some 10 mile an hour hairpin turns curves that uh, you're encroaching upon the other lane. We yeah. do Togo RV app, that's the one we use. And so we had an extra 20, 25 minute drive, but we just went in the outskirts and then came in. We did several good hikes. So you if you haven't seen those already, the fire lookout hike was great. Yeah, that was Chimney nice. Beach was great. So we try to do some of the main things. Um, otherwise, uh, it was great. We're coming back for sure. We're gonna come back when we have more time. Um, Tahoe is beautiful. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Um, so now we're at the next stop and uh, we're not going to tell you much, but I'm sure if you heard a little going on in the background and seen this next stop is amazing. I, I love it. it. It's great. It's a harvest host and we've been having a really yeah. nice time. I don't want to leave. Nope. So hit notifications. Um, don't forget to hit like, please subscribe, um, but hit notifications uh, so you can go to the next stops with us. We are only halfway through our trip. We're heading to Bend, Oregon, and uh, we're going to do some more hiking. Crooked River Ranch and uh, hang out there for three nights. And uh, yeah. we're going to go to the top of Smith Rock. No, we're not. Yes, we, we are. We already did that. We're yeah, not. We, need to we do did it, it last year. I say we're going to do it every year we're there. So We did it last year. So we're going to the top of Smith Rock and looking down. I will go to Black Butte because we have not filmed that and we did that one time and that's enough of a challenge for me right yeah. now. Okay, we'll see. Thanks for rambling. Bye.